But what's up guys, this is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out 20 great tweaks for iOS 12.4. Now before we get into things, I just want to let you guys know that all the tweak names, sources, and prices can be found in the description down below. And also, something important that you guys need to know is that some of the tweaks in this video do require a dependency called Rocket Bootstrap, and I will list the tweaks that require it in the description down below. Now the iOS 12 compatible version of Rocket Bootstrap is only available on the following source that's up on your screen right now. So if you're going to be installing any of the tweaks that require Rocket Bootstrap, make sure you add this source and install the latest version of Rocket Bootstrap from this source in order for your device to run correctly. Alright, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. App Shortcut allows you to access your favorite applications easily. It places this black dot on your home screen you can basically rearrange to any area on the edge of the screen. If you tap on it, it will show you the applications that you favorited in the settings. So of course, you could just tap on any of these apps like this to go ahead and get to those apps just like that. So it's a quick way to switch apps. And of course, to set it up, you go into the settings for the tweak and you could configure the apps that you want to show in here among various other settings. Live Weather Widget will animate the Weather Widget in the Widgets page as you can see right here. So. Uh, as you can see right there, it's the same live animation that's found inside the weather app, but again, this brings it to the widget. Of course, as you can see there, it looks really nice with the expanded view and the collapsed view. Charging Bubbles provides this nice effect to when you're charging your device and you're on your lock screen slash cover sheet area. As you can see right here, just these nice bubbles that are coming up from the bottom, I just think it provides a nice effect. And of course, when you disconnect your device, as you can see, the bubbles stop, just like that. Bottom toolbar will allow you to access some toggles, applications, and controls when you're inside applications on your device easily. So I have it set to show up when I swipe up from the bottom left of the screen like this. And as you can see, I have access to various different toggles here just like this. Of course, my currently playing music controls, which I can control as you'd expect like this. And also my dock applications in here, which are just a tap away as you'd expect. Now, of course, in the settings for the tweak, you can configure the gesture that you use to activate it in addition to a few more settings. Flow changes up the way that the lock screen slash cover sheet music player looks. As you can see right here, this is actually kind of a modern take on the old cover flow effect that was available in the music app on iOS 6 and earlier, but of course this is a modern take once again, and it brings it to the lock screen as you can see right here, just kind of that same cover flow effect. Now of course if you guys go into the settings, you can configure this tweak to your liking in here. Enable Me Ahura allows you to customize your toggle switches and sliders that you see inside the settings application. As you can see right here, my toggles, as you can see there, are customized to different colors when they're off, on, the borders, the switch, and as you can see there, the slider as well, you can see is customized. And of course, you can configure all this inside these settings for the tweak. Again, various different customization options in here. See-through light makes it so you're able to see what's going on with your device from the lock screen. So it basically allows you to see through the lock screen to whatever is going on. Again, you can see here, it's a kind of a blur view of my home screen in this case and if I were to go into an application you can see here again it'll go ahead and show whatever's going on kind of in a blurred preview on the lock screen. Taily allows you to see how much space applications are taking up right from the 3D touch menu. As you can see right there, if I 3D touch on an application, it'll tell me the app size, as you can see, just like that. And while we're on the topic of 3D touch shortcuts, here's Edit 3D that adds the Rearrange Apps button to every application in the 3D touch menu to easily rearrange apps. This is exactly how it's done in iOS 13. iKiwi 4 adds some great options to the iOS keyboard. One of the most popular options being the ability to add an additional row to the top so you don't have to keep going into the alternative section to access things like numbers as you can see here and symbols as well and of course you can configure all this to your liking so there's this option with the additional row and there's also another option which again can be found in the settings for the tweak called flick which basically allows you to flick up to access different things which I'll show you now so you can see with the flick option enabled it will actually show the alternative characters above the normal characters and to access the alternative ones you could just swipe down like this and as you can see it'll work just like that so you can access those by swiping down and of course tap to get the normal character normally in iOS after after a certain amount of time, the messages application will actually stop showing you the time that the last message in a conversation was sent. It will normally just show you the date again after a while. But with exact time messages, as you can see right here, it'll also show you the time that the last message was sent in addition to the date. So it just gives you more information in your conversation list view. Spot on will replace the badge notifications on your app icons with these minimalist dots, as you can see right here. So it just goes for a minimal, more clean look on the home screen. And if you go into the settings for the tweak, you can configure the color of the spot, the position of it, and the size. Low power DND will automatically enable low power mode as soon as you enable do not disturb mode on your device, as you can see right here. So let's say you find yourself not using your device that much when it's in do not disturb mode. So this tweak will automatically enable low power mode for you when you're in do not disturb to maybe save you some battery life. Math teacher allows you to customize your calculator application and it provides a new look for it as well. As you can see, you get this nice introduction splash screen after installing the tweak and you could press continue and then you 
you can see you have this new design in the calculator, which looks really nice. It's a nice refresh. You can enable and disable dark mode in the calculator app easily by swiping up with two fingers and then swiping down with two fingers, as you can see right here. Very fluid, looks great. Another nice change to the calculator app is the new copy button. You could actually just tap on it once if you want to copy a result rather than having to actually tap and hold and press copy like you had to do normally in iOS. Now, if you actually tap and hold on the cap copy button, you'll be presented with all these settings to configure for the calculator app. Blurry paper will blur the home screen and lock screen wallpaper. So as you can see right here, again, on the home screen and on the lock screen, there's this blur effect. I think it definitely goes for a clean look. No call blur will remove the blurred wallpaper effect that you get when you're placing a phone call inside the phone application. As you can see right here, normally this interface would be blurred, but it's not with this tweak. App Crumb makes the breadcrumb experience when you get redirected from one application to another application in iOS a little bit more useful. So as you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and tap on a link inside the Messages app, and it's going to take me to the YouTube app. And as you can see right here, the previous application that I was just in is actually going to show up as a preview in the corner just like this. So I could actually go ahead and tap on that, and it'll take me to the previous app, again, showing that actual preview. However, that's not it. You could actually resize this just by dragging up like this. And, you know, again, resize it to your liking just like this. Now, if I double tap, I can actually interact with this app right within this view. So very useful here as well. And if I just wanted to get back to where I was, I just tap up here. And there you go. Now I can interact with the other application. And once again, as soon as you're in this state here, when you're interacting with the app that's actually open, you could resize the other app just by dragging. And if you want to dismiss it, you can swipe it off to the side like that. Hide app labels will just completely hide all of the app labels on your home screen, as you can see right here. So it definitely goes for a clean look. Vinculum brings a Google Nexus 7.0 inspired app drawer to iOS. As you can see right here, we have this arrow on the dock. You can just drag that up and it will provide you with a list of all the applications on your device that you could scroll through. And of course, you could launch the applications easily from here. You could also search for any application of your choice at the top here and narrow it down as you can see right here for example app store and again get to the app that you want to get to quickly and again it just looks very nice here this interpretation of it on ios cowbell will show your current battery percentage right within the low power mode module in the control center as you can see right there but all right guys that pretty much wraps it up for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more content but all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace out